South Sudan may have secured more than 2 million doses of COVID-19 vaccine. But getting shots into arms is another matter. That's according to David Shearer, who leaves his post as the head of the United Nations mission in the country next month. In a place like South Sudan, where logistics are so, um, so difficult, particularly in the a rainy season that'll be coming in a, in a couple of months, roads do not exist in the rainy season. We have to fly things everywhere or take them by barge or by river. The world's newest nation has recorded over 10,000 infections and just 108 deaths. But inadequate testing prevents a clear picture of the pandemic. 2.3 million vaccines provided through the COVAX Global Sharing Scheme are expected to arrive in the coming months. That timing coincides with the rains, which will flood many of the country's just 250 miles of paved roads. And that's not the only challenge. Nearly a decade after gaining independence, and South Sudan is grappling with the triple threat of conflict, climate change, and COVID-19. Shera, who has led the UN mission in South Sudan since 2016, says some of the country's ethnic conflicts could be prevented. What we're in desperate need of is good government. Um, leaders who are looking at serving their people above all, rather than uh, necessarily serving themselves. Shira added that nearly all of the population depends on international food aid, and that the UN and aid groups are providing most basic services, such as health and education.